In this video, I will obtain an equation for the derivative of arcsine. I had already introduced the function and explained how to compute with it in the previous video, which I will link in the description. I am going to use a standard trick. I know the derivative of sine, and I want to obtain the derivative of arcsine. Since in the right domains they are inverses of each other, I know they are related by this equation. If I take the derivative of both sides of the equation, I will get a new identity that will relate the derivative of arcsine to the derivative of sine. That's it. That's my plan. The rest is calculations. Let's do it then. The derivative of the left should be equal to the derivative of the right. On the left, I have the derivative of sine of a function. Using the chain rule, that is cosine of the argument times the derivative of the argument. And on the right, I get 1. From here I can solve and the derivative of arcsine is 1 over cosine of arcsine. I could perhaps leave it as is, but I can rewrite it in a nicer way. What is cosine of arcsine of x? For simplicity, so as not to write arcsine of x all the time, I will give it a name. I will call it theta. Then sine of theta is x, and I am looking for cosine of theta. Once I put it this way, I see that this is a problem in trigonometry. I know sine of the angle theta, and I want to write cosine of the same angle theta. There are various ways to do this, with trig identities, drawing right triangles, looking at the unit circle. I am going to use a trig identity. I know that cosine squared of theta is 1 minus sine squared of theta. Therefore, cosine of theta is plus or minus the root of 1 minus sine squared of theta, or simply plus or minus the root of 1 minus x squared. But which one is it, plus or minus? This is a well-defined function. It can only have one value, one sign, and I cannot choose plus for convenience and pretend to be done. I need to justify the sign I choose. The key is in the definition of arcsine, we defined arcsine as the inverse of a specific restriction of sine. Theta must be between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. And in this region, in the first and fourth quadrants, cosine of theta is always positive or zero. That's what I needed to know. I choose the sine plus. Notice that if I had defined arcsine as the inverse of any other restriction of sine, I might be getting a different sign here. Now I can go back to the original calculation, and I conclude that the derivative of arcsine of x with respect to x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And that's the final answer.